Okay, so let's talk about scenes. Now, scenes in stage are uh, basically pre-built scenarios or pre-built environments that you can use to render your objects in, okay? If you go up to scene, you'll notice I have these ones uh, installed, but if I go to this download scenes, it takes me back to the DLC. Now, it, I, there's all these different kind of scenes that you can download and use. Some of them will be available, some of them won't be available. We will be grabbing more or creating more and you can grab those and use them. We also can create custom ones for companies if you need it, um, but you can use these ones as a starting point. Um, they're not editable, but they're a good place to start with, um, especially like the photography sweep or the studio or the runway, um, Utah Canyon, those kinds of things as a good place to start for product imagery. So once I have them downloaded, then I can start switching scenes. And all I do is come up here to scene and just pick the one I want. So like HDR, um, we started with this one. All I'm gonna do is click on the background or, um, or yeah, click on the background. And then all I have to do is pick from over here. So let's, let's say Snowy Grove. So you're getting, you're getting this HDR lighting built into uh, the scene so that you get kind of different lighting for each of these. So you can notice, like, not only am I getting that lighting set up uh, on here, but I'm also getting um, the HDR imagery from it. So if I change the lighting, something that's a little more dim, you can see like I'm getting all that light uh, coming from the HDRI, which is really nice. So you can really kind of tune your tune your renders to get the lighting that you need from those. Okay, so um, that way, you, depending on what scene you want to use, you can just tweak the HDR. You can go into the different scene here where it could be like the desert house, and it's going to come in and populate all this. So now I'm uh, in this desert house with a pool, right? I've got this scenario, and I can come in here and see my object uh, like this. So click on it, hit F for frame, and now I'm rotating around it. And I can just see it like that. The other thing that you can do, just a hint, is if you hit, oh, we'll just reset that. If you hit O, put your mouse cursor wherever you want it to orbit from or focus on. You hit O, so I'm gonna put my mouse cur cursor right here on the toe, hit O. It's gonna center that point, and then it's gonna rotate around there. So my zoom, uh, my rotation, everything is going to be uh, with that. So I could just go, um, oh, right there. Now I want to go right around those lens, or the, not the lens, the laces, right? Or let's say it's the logo up here. So I click that and there's the logo I want to rotate around. So really quickly, you can focus on things, especially when you're showing things off. Um, let's just go to no, no lighting in here, okay? So it's really nice and easy to uh, just uh, click, focus, rotate around that. The other thing that you can do is right click and drag and that little crosshair is where it's gonna focus. So it's gonna zoom to those extents and it's also gonna focus on that spot. So once again, if I wanted to focus like on the on the toe here, or let's say I wanted to focus on this T for trail, I could just do this, drop it, there it is right there, okay? So that makes it really easy to navigate around as well.